What if we take Mongolia in the 20th century, stick a half-mad Russian in charge, and then have at it? You get this playthrough in Hearts of Iron 4, where we're going to try and rebuild the Mongol Empire using only cavalry. Why are we using only cavalry? Well, aside from being very thematic, you also get crazy bonuses thanks to this mission tree. So let's see how far the borders of the empire will extend. Something that shouldn't be extended is how close I am to 200,000 subscribers. <laughs> Please don't extend it. I need this. Just subscribe. It'll help out a lot. Okay, so the Mongolian incarnate ruled by <laughs> Roman Ungerserberg. <laughs> The Mad Baron. This is going to be fine. I'm going to see how much of the Mongol Empire I can reclaim uh, as, as Mongolia. Uh, we're going to be rocking basically full uh, cavalry armies. Uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, I don't know how well I'm going to do this, but the Russians aren't watching and well, I'm going to take advantage. Oh boy. <laughs> it's never a good sign when you click to build something in this game and uh, it's already all blue. Yeah, I've never done this tree before, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Do we have supply? All right, the history of Mongolia. I'm not going to read through. Well, I'm going to read through all of these, but I won't like read through it manually as in voice it out loud. Uh, I'll let you pause if you want to read this stuff. Here's the second page. Basically, there's lots of different threats that are going to be turning up from uh, the uh, the Buddhists to uh, Russian aligned uh, soldiers under uh, Sternberg, the Mad Baron. I'm going to call him the Khan from now on. There you go. The Russians aren't watching. So because of President Kerensky, who has been assassinated, we uh, can get away with some things. Oh, God. Okay. So we've got to decide on who our right-hand man is. Boris is in our right-hand man, a Mongol noble, or someone who's going to call us the god of war. That does sound kind of badass. I'm going to go for our right-hand man. Oh, good. I love getting assistance from Russia. <laughs> Fourth Anglo-Afghanistan war, Black Monday. Really just not the greatest of things happening. Standing over seven foot and nine inches tall. This, what? By far the largest Mongolian senior citrus. It might be the largest man senior citrus. Christ. Got a whole ass event for this man. Okay, so it seems we are uh, under a little bit of violence here. And Xavier has never been a fully stable man. The constant state of war swirls in his mind. Swirls. <laughs> Basically, he's collapsing mentally. So we clash either. We uh, are like our... The Mad Baron is cut down a battle. Or, uh, nothing happens. Or, the Mad Baron is struck by a stray arrow and man just reached his horse but and escaped to... Uh, which is what we're going to do. Because what we're going to do is get the Mad Baron to be even madder so he's going to claim himself to be Genghis Khan too. That's the plan. The Baron is in a coma. There you go. His mind was alight with fantastical visions and near prophetic glimpses of pure nirvana. Oh boy. The voice is seized in the cacophony that's within his mind finally subsided in a sudden instant and the eyes of the Khan bolted open once more. Uh, with life now bloodshot and wild-eyed like never before. Without hesitation or warning, the Khan let out a primordial scream that shook the heavens and nearly deafened those in the yurt with him who were tending his wounds before f finally uttering one but one complete phrase, the world shall tremble in fear, for now I am become Mahakala, the destroyer of worlds. So there we go. Uh, oh, he's got a little bandage on. That's kind of cute. Uh, and he's, yeah, he's got a little bit mad. So China's collapsing, which is good, because we want to obviously try and nip into there as soon as possible. Obviously, we'll lead things ourselves. The Russians aren't watching. Stay comes to the recognized Mongol lands. Or the Chinese be damn unification for all Mongolians. That sounds good. And we're going to be called the Mongolian Khanate. <laughs> the Mongolian Khanate will now be known as the Mongolian Khanate. Cool. Okay, so this is, I think, the Marklik stuff. I kind of want to rush that early. Do I want to ally Tibet first? Because I can ally Tibet, move away his troops, and then walk in. Because the supply in this area is going to be absolutely bloody miserable. Yeah, okay, we're going to ally Tibet. It's only 14 days. Army prepares for war. Excellent. Okay, we can deal with the Western bandits, apparently. At least three divisions there we need to put. Okay, let's do that now, then. Let's see these templates. Okay, so that's a, <laughs> that's six militia, six uh, infantrymen, and then what's that five cavalry. All right. All right, we are going to do... Do this. Mongol minority. Again, I think pushing early is probably a good idea. Also, I think we got cause somewhere, and I, I I don't know where. It's like Ordos. I don't know where that is. Ordos. We have a core. Okay, we have it as a core state, but not this province. Just just that one. Okay, cool. Do I want an army focus? Huh. Okay, this is weird. So instead of having, what about the officer core? I can also get that. Um, no, that's just a different thing. Okay, cool. Mass mobility. I do want to go full cavalry. So maybe division speed is a good idea because we could just, you know, <laughs> even though Northern School will be 
I mean, it'd be perfect for us, but... Damn it, I want cavalry, so screw it. We get industrial concern first, though. It feels like a good idea. Awesome, Tibet joined our faction. We're going to pacify the Western Bandits. Okay, we're going to lose a lot of stability here, because, you know, we're um, allowing people to to stay. So who who are these people? Tog Taj. Oh, yeah, you're good. You're staying. Uh, okay, was not expecting that. Wait, did the focus automatically declare the war? I think it might have. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Jesus. Right, let's go down this god of war path. Um, all right, just just rush. Just ig like ignore him and just keep pushing. I'm just gonna go around him. Who are we fighting? Oh, okay, yeah, that's um, that's a mm, that's a, that's rough. That. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> this is bad. And so how long did that end? Okay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go without front lines, as stupid as that usually is. Uh at least on the on the main front. You lot get there as soon as possible, please. Something happened, it said at least the Baron survived. I'm kinda panicking. I'm gonna call in Tibet. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem. We've got minus four stability. I'm I'm just gonna go round them. Matter of princes. Draw from the pile and play off every prince you can find. Sure, Persian. We've got minus seven stability anyway. It's not like it can get any worse. Well, that's objectively not true. I I have made it worse. The last boss move through Ulanka. The thought occurred to Ulanka. If he wants to take Guusu, I don't know what this means. This what this means, but just do it. Okay, you need to walk in. I think that should do it. Okay, that capitulated him. That is shocking. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the land, right? Okay, so we just, we annexed them all entirely, right? Okay, that went well. So here's the thing. They couldn't push, they couldn't push. I'm going to say, I'm going to talk as if I had any sort of military strategy here. But I was thinking they couldn't push in because they don't have, there's no supply in Mongolia. So what are they going to do, you know? So we just nip in here. God of War, nice. Production of 16 steel, 12 aluminium, and, and 12 uh, whatever that is. Tungsten. Okay, give me some building slots and civilian factories. Yes, please. Are these Russians? Why are they here? Well, let's cut off their entire front. Preferably before he takes, you know, everything from me. Oh, he's retreating further into the pocket. Well, that's kind of him. Uh, the issue is, I don't know where any cities are. Okay, here's a city. I'm not quite sure... What I can take here. Um, but uh, but I'm eager to find out. Like where? Okay, there's a city here. Go. Go, Mr. Cavalryman. Oh, he's been stopped immediately. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. Oh, we've already lost like 300 men. But that's, but that's mainly because I don't think there are any men in any of these divisions. Right, surround you. You go help out there. They actually have full supply in that pocket. They got more supply in that pocket than I do in my entire nation. Which is ironic, because, well, they're in my nation. Oh my god. Tibet. Do it. Push. They actually have a lot of, like, manpower, which is cool. They took back Hammy. Somehow. Well, I have just been letting them roam. I've not really been doing too much to close them down. I just want this one bloody city. Is that too much to ask? How's he in my land? Okay, right. I think even the AI is confused about how any of this works. You just go to the city, right? Yeah, okay, he's going to the capital, nice. Tibet wants to give us rifles, please do. I prefer not to take this pocket, to be honest. Don't let him take that back. Oh my god, we did it. Okay, cool. Sweet, okay. Uh, we've taken the land. Dude, shout out to Tibet. <laughs> it really helped us out. Uh, I, hmm. It's not like I didn't expect to get this far, but I, um... Well, I, I just didn't think that it would... We, <laughs> I just didn't think we'd do it. Let's pacify the Western lot. Return to Betten lands. Uh, integrate this province. Cool. And apparently I have to demobilize my economy. Loot the land and salt the earth. Christ. Okay. <laughs> I think I just got a bunch of cores there. I mean, we're pretty big now. We're bigger than Germany and France and... Well, it's about it. But, you know. I, I didn't think we'd get this. I like It's not like I looked forward. So I don't know what happens now. Uh, Emperor of the Mongols. 
Now that tries more goalie people have been united under the banner of a single leader once again, art shall our land seal itself off the world to protect to protect our precious traditions people, or shall, like the great Temujin leader, great great and mighty host to trample the decadent and petty regimes of the East and West. That sounds good to me. I hate decadent and petty regimes. They're the worst. Can send in the army. Which um Yeah, it's gonna prove our stability. Let's do that. What happened to this guy? Did he die? Nope. I just I just didn't have control of him. Uh I wanna sort out some things internally first before I do anything else. Oh, lots of things just happened. Mongolia will rise again under Angun Khan. Huh. With both Central Asia in his hands, Angun Khan rules all the Mongolic peoples and everyone living, living in a yurt swears to feel allegiance to him alone. All right, nice. It's thought by many Mongolians that the avatar of God of War at the very least reincarnation of the great Genghis Khan. Yeah, okay. So we're removing unofficial help from the Japanese, but we do get Mongol Empire established against consumer goods minus 15%, which is pretty good. Tibet leaves our front. That's a shame. And everyone hates us. Mongol Empire rises. Hail to the Horde. Cool. So alliance with the Turkmen. Conquer Turkestan. So there's a lot of conquer in here. So what's this do? God of War. It gives us... He just summons... I mean, yeah. If he just summons uh, equipment like that, he probably is a god. Uh, Horse from the Apocalypse. Cavalry attack. Cavalry defense plus 12%. And then... Be the national populace in charge. And we have to, we or an ally owns every single core province of the following nations. Bukhara, Kokan, Fentian, Government, Alashwada, and Kiva. Oh, okay. So we're not going to be able to get spirit Genghis for a little while. Is that owned by the Russians? No, it's owned by Kiva. Okay. We have to wait for Genghis Khan II to rule Mongolia. Okay, well, let's keep going on this side of things. And we'll expand the Trans-Mongolian. I need someone who's a cavalry officer. I mean, you are a cavalry leader. Cool. Let's get you in charge. Or we're going to have to demobilize. What's this? Finish off Gadam Medr. Do it. Lose 10,000 manpower. Sure. Stability minus 10. Christ, what happens? Oh, we got rid of it. Nice. Sternberg stormed it himself. Awesome. Well done. I have to say, I, I mean, again, I'm shocked at how well... Usually I get bogged down. Because last time I played Mongolia was years and years ago. I got very much bogged down, so I'm very, very pleased to see that's not the case here. Trans-Mongolian's been completed. Oh, I think we do. We have to do Karnakhan's first, and then he'll declare himself. Um, then we'll get Genghis Khan the second. Demobilize our economy for a little bit. What does that do? The glorious leader of all Mongols, Roman von Ungern Sturberg, has ascended from a common mercenary to a divine crusader, leading all those who follow the glories of victories. He possesses the fighting spirit of those he conquered under the... Banner of Ilk Mongol Uls and is best by the Bog Khan. However, even the Bog has recognized it's the omnipotent force possessed by the Mad Baron. He's truly the Khan of Khans. Awesome. So cool. So stupid. I love it. Whoa. Mongol Horde rides once more. Such cool music. Was both the greatest land entity in the scourge of the world, the Mongol Empire of old has been resurrected by Roman von Ern. Ergen Sternberg. Having solidified his position created by his Asiatic cavalry division, the Baltic German noble declared himself Genghis Khan II, claiming the mantle of universal ruler previously held by Temujin centuries ago. With the fearsome reputation of the Bloody Baron, the world, entire world itself might soon find itself bathed in crin. Cool. My name is surrounded with such hate and fear that no one can judge what is the truth and what is false, what is its history and what is myth. A blue heaven compass all. Awesome. So we're going to get minus 15 stability, plus 10 war support, but plus 5 cavalry attack. And we're going to have the Keshig order. What does it look like now? Yeah, that's what I want to see. <laughs> that's cool. So horse from the apocalypse, god of war. And gain a research, so let's do that now then. So who are we going up against first? We could probably just head west, right? The turn on Tibet's probably a good idea as well. So I think we do this, horse from the apocalypse. And then get... So we'll do God of War, get Horse with the Apocalypse, then we'll head over here. And then go for a Sovereign Power. Okay, maintain control on the West is about to be done. It's been completed. Deal with Jai Lama, let's do that. Or we just kill him. Overlord of Kovd. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him a general. I think it sounds cool. Is he any good? Uh, yeah, he's actually pretty decent. Cool. It's a shame that Blitzkrieg only works for tanks and not cavalry. I think we have to go for mass assault, aren't we? It's thematically appropriate. Now, can our supply lines handle eight divisions in these provinces? I honestly don't think so. There's a supply hub here. Okay, we should probably start building, you know, things to allow for that. Uh, it seems to be doing right. Yeah, no, we've got, 
we do actually have trains, which is great. Horseman of the Apocalypse. Okay, so now we want to turn on Tibet first or conquer Turkestan first. Or we could attack the Alash Authority. Oh, no, that, that declares war on the Russian Republic. Did they already get rid of them? I swear there was... Yeah, I think the Alash were over here. They are gone now. Somehow I don't think fighting the Russians right now is a good idea. So we turn on Tibet. Then become a... Sovereign power. And declare war on China. Right, let's turn on Tibet. There is, there is uh, just no supply. <laughs> There's the Second American Civil War. The giant is asleep for good. I, I don't know about for good, but definitely for now. Okay, I want to start building uh, some artillery. Beef up our divisions a little bit. Okay, we are fighting Tibet. Oh, I was concerned that we wouldn't be able to break through this, but it looks like their troops suck. Okay, that's good. I was very concerned. Right, let's get sovereign power then. Wait. If we've chosen to perform the Brotherhood of Eurasia, it'll broaden options for our alliance. Otherwise, it'll grant a boost to our conquest. I don't want alliances. Mongolia stands on its own two feet. Should probably upgrade my army a little bit, but yeah, it'll be fine. How can we lose when we have this man in charge? Look at that hat. You know, I mean, you don't get that hat without knowing what you're doing. Well, there's the Spanish Civil War. I love the music that plays every time something happens. Cut off the supplies on this side. New kind of gun. That's very exciting. I do have a lot of troops in reserve, but I, I you know, I can't, can't afford to use them right now. Supply and good conscience prevents me from doing so. I think we might want to go for organization loss while moving. Or even this supply stuff. Hmm. Supply consumption, division defense, supply consumption, division organization. Or we just get, you know, full attack. You know what, let's just do full attack, it'll be fine. Okay, this will declare war immediately, which we don't want. Okay, keep doing this off. We get a lot of industry. This is very generous. Okay, just finish this lot off, please. That might do it. How far? Okay, he's actually not uh, not close to capitulating. Oh, cool, it's a mountaineer. It's fun. I think I've been in... I have been encircled. Okay, but it doesn't matter. That was all part of my brilliant, brilliant tactical maneuver. <laughs> Christ. All right, awesome. Can I get an engineer company? So we lose stability either way. By the way, gain... Manpower, or we kill everyone and add production. Sure, we'll do that. I guess it's meant to be like raising. Okay, I think we have to go after China after this. So we do declare war on the Zhangji clique. Sure. Declare war on the owner of Jinjiao. Okay, let's do that. And they don't have any friends, so it's just going to be them. Let's see if that ruins my supply. I'm I'm actually surprised at how how good our supply is as well. It's um it's not been bad. I want cavalry leaders only. Oh, Cossack leader. That's cool. Sure, get him in. Let's get us some Cossacks. And we get annex war go against the Qing Imperial authorities. We can declare war at any time. In the meantime, we could declare a couple of different wars. Just depends how many troops this guy has. 7 to 15. Can we do it with 11, do you think? Could try. Because we do this one first, 42 days, and then conquer Turkestan? Or do you think at that point, no, we should probably get some actual stuff here. Let's take one at a time. And we'll get these guys set up behind anyway. Develop Western Mongolia is done. And now we go to the fate of China. Now that Khanate stands at the gates of China proper, let us... Like the great hordes of old, ride forth from the steppe and a great host and seize Beijing for the Baron and Khan. I mean, here's the thing. There are a few nations on this earth that when they say they're doing something, you get a little bit nervous. You know? Like if Mongolia, in the modern day, if Mongolia went, we, we declared a new Khan. Like, okay, rationally speaking, you're like, all right, well, that is, it's Mongolia. Like, what are they actually going to do? But there's going to be a little bit of part of you. So deep does the scar of, uh, of the Mongol Empire run. That you're sitting there thinking, but what if it happens again? I know it can't, but what if it happens again? Dude, imagine having overwhelming national debt. <laughs> Go back to the barter system, idiot. <laughs> Fourth Balkan War. Oh, mu more music. Excellent. So cool. All right, let's get some anti-air and anti-tank stuff. We have to start producing that. But here we go. We're taking China. I mean, I can't imagine he's going to stop me. So can you just nip round him? Because yeah, what, what's stopping us from just taking his land? I mean, there's better troops than the other guys, at least, but he's already been surrounded. Get around these lot. Let's see if this ruins my supply. I'm going to chuck in a bunch more troops. I mean, it's hurt it. It's not like killed it. Okay, let's clear them up from behind first. Screw the supply. We yield off the land. It'll be all right. Ooh, okay. Um, Maybe not screw the supply. Kind of rough, actually. I'm going to build a railway in. Oh, someone's declared one of the Qing Imperial Authority, the Feng Tian government. Well, three way war it is, then, chaps. Division attack on core territory. That's not going to help us. Uh, I think probably logistics, man. 
or breakthrough. The supply situation is uh, kind of rough. So you can push across this lot. How many men have I lost in this war? 13,000. All right. Yeah, there's your problem. All your forts aren't facing the Mongols. And I feel like you should have probably thought about that. That's well, this lot's around it. We have most of a railway line. Oh, it's a bit of a slog, this. Christ. Oh, the Russians have gone west into Kokan. That's really annoying. I should have gone there first, I think. I have to fight the... I really don't want to fight... Well, actually, fighting the Russians might not be the worst thing for us. I'll just let them go out a little bit here. So I can take this stuff myself. Okay, they've left Yan'an. Oh, yep. Yan, Yan'an. Yeah, Yan... They've left their capital. And there we go. Take all. Submit demands. Confirm and exit. Okay, that's the Shanxi clique. So you still fighting each other at the same time as fighting? Yeah, okay. All right, considering they're fighting this government thing over here, we just hit them. Go for Annex. Trigger it. Go aggressive. And uh, let's just rush for Beijing. No downside, right? Oh, God, they're already here. Oh, look how fast we are. Go, my cavalry boys. Go. Just go through the gaps. They can't stop us. It's illegal. Go to Wuchang. You stop going there. Go around him instead. Uh, our ex our expanse, uh, our, <laughs> our offensive has immediately been halted. Okay. Our guy got wounded, but he has cut off uh, the southern half of China. Okay, maybe don't go aggressive, aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I placed a lot of faith on uh, being able to chase down all the victory points here. Uh, I don't know if that was the right move, per se. I mean, they're already halfway done, but the uh, the half that they have is pr pr a pretty firm hold. <laughs> right, let's get this. We can get cavalry attack. Uh, how's Russia doing? Because the Federation of Turkestan, all I need is a border with Iran. So I think I could blitz through, maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to run around collecting all these provinces so we don't create little front lines. Okay, they are going to push out a little bit here. Which is a bit of a shame because I did get a nice encirclement off. Oh, there are troops here. That's fun. I didn't realize that. Okay, so the, the, the we surround a load of guys over here. The north is looking particularly holy. And not in the, the haha funny, it, it's holy, as in like, we're, we're kind of screwed. We also don't have any guns. Why do we not have any guns? Did you spit out more troops? No. Oh, boy. Yeah, I did not take this one seriously at all. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I would have thought that you'd been able to break through with all this added pressure I'm doing, but apparently not. All right, let's just consolidate the front line. Let's get production of guns back up and running. Because uh, we don't actually have a front line. This is, there's no one here. Everyone's focused on taking out these little pockets. Which I appreciate. I really do. But this is not ideal. Oh, that'll be why. There's six divisions just sort of sitting here. Reinforce the Mongol army. That's nice. We, I mean, we have a lot of, like, we have a large military in terms of our oh, manpower. Cavalry attack sounds good. I kind of want to stay pure cavalry. Like, there's an option down here to go, like, mechanize the cavalry core, this sort of stuff. But I, I, I kind of want to go down this elite cavalry route. That sounds really fun. <laughs> I'm doing it. At the very least, we have supplies. Uh, I think we're going for army speed. Division speed a little bit. Then, we'll go for... The cavalry count as infantry divisions. I'm going to check that now. No, doesn't look like it. I, I guess we're going mass assault then. I mean, they're suffering from supplies more than we are. Like supply issues, so let's do that. Push in. Yeah, look at the supplies, man. Ours are healthy. I did manage to take all the supply hubs, so that's nice. Oh, and I don't know if, what the hell's going on with you. Well, let's finish off that. And then you lot are going to be assigned to that. Okay, let's take Liao Yang first before we start pushing him out, because that does have a level 3 fort. Yeah, our gun deficit is really not looking that healthy. So I think we'll we'll clean up this pocket, and then we'll wait for a little while to actually get, um, y you know, guns. Calm cavalry, okay. This is all war doctrine stuff. Military spending. Sure, we're doing it. Guard of Elite Cavalry. Why not? <laughs> Fall of Beijing. Finally. There we go. Demand all this. Damn it, I let him get that land behind me. Ah, I can, I can still demand this stuff. There we go. So we get pretty much all of it. I think. Sweet. Now what? <laughs> so did we pick up a load of... Uh, yeah, we did. Picked up some infantry weapons. So we've got a thousand artillery. Can I pop those in here? How many would we need? Oh, cool. Uh, let's grab this. Okay, every throne needs its emperor. The conquest of the Middle King proving complete and victorious must now choose what to do. Hmm. Grants claims of all of China. I want that. All right, let's take the Feng Tian government. Okay, well, Feng Tian government's actually going to declare war on me as well. Cool thing is, it's a nice open plane. All right, go on then, chaps. Prepare yourselves for war. 
Can I supply connection from Kata? That will be in two days. Yeah, cool, we're getting supply. We have a load of forts, which is a bit rough. So I think the breakthrough might actually come from up here. All right, justification is finished. Okay, so we're going to declare war, but they are guaranteed by the uh, legation cities. But I, I can't really do too much about that. We don't have a navy, so it's not like I could, I could do, well, uh, anything. Oh, no, you should, you've, you've left your, you don't have enough troops for all this. Oh, chaps, your back door's open. Oh, that's very embarrassing. No, 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 you can't leave. Yeah, no, you're not allowed to do that, I'm afraid. Oh, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. Yeah, there's there's a there's a second one already. So what do we wanna do next? Manta the Yuan could Yeah, nice, let's do that. Enables decisions to deal with any warlords standing away in the Kong China. Such as wars with Genghis Khan's first great conquest is only fitting we should claim the mandate of heaven for ourselves, proclaim ourselves the revival of the Yuan dynasty established under Kublai Khan, under the Baron. That's <laughs> just so insane. He has not even slight familial claim, but sure, we move. Uh the Pan just declared war on me. Second Sino-Japanese War. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's the Sino-Japanese, not gonna lie. Feels like it's the Mongol Mongolians, but uh, okay, we'll move. Um, just, they're 99% of the way there, we just need to get them to capitulate. So just run into every bit of territory you can find, chaps. It's where the horses are, are like really coming to their own. There you go. Now what? We're, we're at war with the legation cities and the legation cities and also the Empire of Japan. That, that's a bit much. We don't have a navy. The Mongols never took Japan, you see. Yeah, we're not exactly fighting warlords. These are actual troops. And look, they've got helmets and everything. Oh, another Sino Japanese war. I mean, we have a load of infantry equipment. It's just. All... Hmm. Right, I'm gonna start producing anti tank and anti air. Alright, chaps, if there's a gap, exploit it. Supply connection in four days. Get me some supplies, please. Thank you. Alright, boys, find whatever advantage you can. <laughs> the, the encirclements, let's go. All right, I'm going to try and just keep pushing forwards. I really think to stop is to die. I'm very convinced of this fact. I'm just going to keep going round them. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's in moments like these where you have issues. Okay, there are no ports up here, so they should be horribly out of supply. Oh, okay. I mean, that's an encirclement. That, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's fully an encirclement, that. Okay. Go down to Seoul. Head around here. I think it's just because the Japanese got triggered this via an event. Oh, man's the one. Destroy the legation cities already uh, a thing. Nice. Okay, we don't really have supplies, but that's okay. Neither do they. All right, take up Pyongyang. And again, look, if we get stopped, just go around them. This is how we've always worked. Oh, look. <laughs> Japanese cavalry. That's nice. The Takeda clan live on. Yeah, okay, you've, you've just, you've been encircled. There's um, not much I can do for you there. You've got some out of supply, Grace. So try and get to Busan. Nope. Yeah, um, they're they're kind of flooding now. Uh, we we gotta we gotta pull out of that pocket. Pyongyang's been taken though. Yeah, there goes our cavalry. Just what they don't naval evade me is the issue. Ooh, small price to pay for a skilled government. Skilled government? Did I say skilled general? Uh, that's a lot. Uh, I'm not doing it. Oh, we have enough generals. Push in here. Push in there. We're actually holding down south, which is nice. We're gonna need to cover up. Uh, our uh, port soon, but for now we're okay. Let's right, finish off these encirclements, please. Right, there we go. Nice crack on, boys. Finish the recruitment of guns. Guard. Help from the guard. Army professionals, which is what I want. Organization division recovery rate, please. Be good. Seeing as I don't have an air force, it, it, it is nice to not have my homeland bombed constantly. That's usually what happens when I play one of these games, but that's the point of the Mongol Empire. Everything's a buffer state. Okay, yeah, this is... Mm, they are collapsing very quickly. Ah, Japan asked for peace. Uh, yes, please. I'd love a peace with you. Yeah, good. Yeah, just in time to... The Chinese have declared war. I've, I've put some, un, like, unguard... Like, what's his name? The, the Khan's bodyguard out there, but that's... Mm, not really helping. At least it solves one issue. This is how we get the legation cities. They are pushing back very fast, though. These uh, divisions are a bit beefier. But I think they're objectively worse. Because they don't have the uh, support artillery. Let me check. Okay, soft attack 38, 38, 6, 2, 2, 5. Those are the stats I recognize. 38. Yeah, these ones are have a lot he like are a lot better. So I think I'm gonna change you out to our standard ones. This is gonna gain us 7,000. Yeah, we'll do that. Now they're gonna be a lot stronger. All right, flood across, boys. Okay, they actually do have troops everywhere. Can I go around them? Yep. As is tradition. I sort of march in and just take whatever supply hubs I can. Yeah, they're a little bit better set up than most of our opponents. 
usually we just sort of march in. Because, you know, uh, we've declared uh, a war that they're not ready for. Or rather upsetting that's not working this time. How are our supplies? Um, all right, we're going to take this province because we need the uh, railway. You are kind of in a bad place over there. Let's just see if we break you out. Fate of Korea. I kind of want to keep it. We've got help from the guard. Now we need army professionals. Okay, leg inf The thing is, leg infantry. I'm going to spend 90 on something that doesn't help affect like all of my army. Because we're just pure cavalry. 98, 99, come on. Cool. Push through the railway now, please. But that's going to hurt his supply because that's cut off his railway here. Yeah, this is, this is going to be messy. We have tons of equipment now. Okay, let's start buffing him a bit. He's got anti-tank, anti-air. Let's start actually producing convoys. Uh, if we could push him across the river here. We can go around him. Yeah, go, 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 go. And this is what's really good about our army. Just keep pushing, boys. But we're around him now. This is not going to be fun for his supply lines. I mean, it's not going to be fun for ours either. But if we push in here, we could take Jinan afterwards. I don't know. I'm just going to rush it. Screw it. We're moving. Look how quick they are. No, no, no. You don't move. All right. They've got nothing on Nanjing. We've taken that. Let's even cut off the north. And they are mobilizing to move us. Okay, go. Now's your chance, boys. Push across. <laughs> So how close to capitulation is he already? Uh, I mean, a decent amount. All right, that's an encirclement in the north. We do need Jinan. Or like the province south of Jinan. I've clicked the province north of Jinan. Well, that's fun. Oh god, the legation cities. I've just opened up a front to them. That's really not what I wanted. Screw it. We're just going to keep pushing. Go. You go there. You go to Anqing. Okay, he actually does have troops here. Go around them. It's the same thing every time, boys. <laughs> Move around them. Okay, there's an encirclement within an encirclement. Oftentimes, this is what a front line in World War II would look like. You've got an encirclement, and then a larger encirclement, and then a larger encirclement, just because no one knew where anything was. You know, because warfare is sort of a bit chaotic like that. He's kind of close, but not close enough for me to, like, do a mad dash. I'd rather consolidate what I have. Our supply penalties are great. Go, push in. Ruin them all, boys! What's our casualty stats at? We've lost 16,000. Oh, we're called Great Yuan! I didn't even realize that, and we've dealt 30,000. Didn't even see that we were called a great one. Okay, that's this lot. Um, dead. They've taken Nanjing, but it's in a different war. So the legation cities are... Um... No, it's in the same war, but they're not giving it back. Because I think... Wait, wait. It's an occupied state. They're just occupying parts of China. Well, Washington. All right, I actually need to... And the fall of Russia, yeah, remember, Those same day, same significant. Uh, right, let's see. Constitutional American Republic. The, Amer the American Union state. Combined significance of America. It looks like, I don't even know who's winning that. Western Command Center. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, so I'm not going to look. Now let's just finish off this lot. Support, sort our supply lines and then crack on from there. Dude, being the Khan is, is stressful. Okay, there's another uh, research slot being unlocked. Okay, where are the supply issues? In the middle of China. Uh, mm, yeah, okay, that's kind of rough. We need Nanjing. Wait, there's no one in front of us. Why don't we just take Nanjing? Ah, because there are people in front of us. I see. All right, I'm going to retool my front line. Usually I don't do this because it ruins everything. I also heard that like shift clicking. What's this? Shift clicking on one of the borders does it without any sub fronts apparently. So we're going to do that. That's what, see I'm learning. People told me that in the comments. I'm going to see if we can get this guy out. Saving private Ogadai. All right, I made it. Nice. Wait, can I just go to your capital? Do you have guys stationed ready? Don't know if you do. Oh boy, you don't. Oh, that's rough. Sorry, man. Full of Shanghai. Let's go uh, encircle this lot, shall we? The sick man may die. What's this? It's fighting its last breaths against the Sultan of Egypt and many its neighbors. The Egyptians seek Sinai. The Arabians the coast. And the Persians westward expansion. They're also fighting what many believe to be the last battle. Oof. How sick. It really is. And Private Ogadai is, uh, is, is saved, so that's nice. That's all I really cared about in that little uh, advance. I'm surprised at how good our troops are, but I, I don't think it's I don't think it's because our troops are good. I truly think that our troops aren't good. I think just everyone around us just has objectively worse troops. I have to say, I prefer this whole like singular front line thing. It's it's a lot nicer. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> Select all, confirm and exit. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to be the legation cities right now. Don't leave die oh, he left his port, didn't he? That's mm-hmm. That might be you done, bud. There's a guy outside who is who uh, is aggressively making eye contact with me as he mows his lawn. I 
and frankly, he's won this. I, I feel inferior. Uh, my masculinity is uh, is erupted. It's it's over for me. Um, why is he staring at me? Do I have to take every province? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like I do. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, there are just a bunch of cities. I think I've done it. Uh, but they're not surrendering. Bow down to the Russians. Or... What's this? Russians cross the border and take care of Yulala and Minsk. Uh, no. Rejecting that. I thought I was on me for some reason. <laughs> well, I know, not for some reason. I mean, we did just do something to the Russians. I was expecting uh, a little bit of a, a rejection in the mail. About our activities. You done now? How do you have... Wait, what? I wanted... No. Hong Kong. Okay, surely I have decisions for this. I thought it said that I had, like... It said it was going to give you decisions or something. It was just to deal with any warlord standing in our way for the conquest. Yeah. That's a problem. Okay, so I have to fight you to go and kill the legation cities. I don't have to do this, to be clear. This is not, this is not what I want. That's a problem. That's a... Yep. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I didn't see that as a, as a possibility here. Okay, so we need to run over there. Do I have guys ready? No, I don't have any divisions of basic training. That's, um, that's fun. Let's get the Khan bodyguard ones. Uh, I'm 10 of those divisions ready. 10 of these ready. Low priority. I'll issue the one I can. Not enough manpower to fill our garrisons. That's great. Change these to militia, I think. We put martial law over here. Uh, let's also create an intelligence agency. I mean, how scary can the Russians be? Sure, they might have three times our amount of troops and double our industry. But we have hope. We don't have any supplies going north, do we? Okay, we have this one. Push aggressively. We'll figure out the supply situation later. Oh, the Russians are here. Okay, stop pushing aggressively. Stop, stop pushing. The reason I wanted these 10 uh, is because there's a lot of tiny, tiny, tiny little borders I need to keep control of here. Yeah, there's just no supply at all. Uh, the tribes break free of the Germans. Well done, Japs. Well done, well done. Surely they don't have better supplies than me, right? Oh, they do. Oh, class Middle Africa. Why would you just sort of stand there? You've just killed yourself. Cavalry attack. Yeah, we need that. Okay, right. Start, start going down this route then. That's fine. I'm just going to build a bunch of, of, of things. You know, supply hubs, railways, the works. Just got to hold them off until then. Does not seem we are holding off. Also, I th why do you have supply? Okay, supply situation is improving. Just incredibly, incredibly slowly. Also, these are our homelands. So bombing will take place here, and it will be painful. You create an intel network. Here, do it. Need to know what the hell's going on. Yeah, they're not suffering from supply like we are. Like, in the slightest. Try and push through and take the supply uh, hub here. Because I can cut off a lot of his troops. Please, infrastructure construction speed plus 15% is actually insane. Please, god damn. Why do you not have a supply connection? But there's a... But there's a railway. I can see... Wait, is that a planned railway? That feels like an actual railway. I don't... Okay, there we go. Fixed it. Oh, Christ. I've just been slowly pushing. But only where there's... Um, there's like uh, like along a railway, like here. It's actually a good province to take. Because the supply here is so brutal that you cannot survive. Even slightly. And if you push too fast, it's over for you. That's what happened to the Russians. They pushed me back, and now they're here. And I've had to build loads more railway lines, and the only thing I push are goddamn railways. Once we get past this point, I think I can cut them off mostly. It's been very cagey. Because, you know, no one has any troops. Alright, I'm saving my, uh, my manpower, my equipment for a big push. It's just where? I think down here is a good idea because there's loads of like little supply hubs I can take. And I can push along these two. And then hopefully I can cut them off. If I, if I can hit Yekaterin, Yekaterinburg through here, up through the south, we, we're in good shape. Austria declares war. Okay. This time it'll be different, sure. There we go. We've got supply now. Alright, it's time. Imagine most of this is going to get cut just because I'm sitting here. Just chatting about supply constantly. Okay, we have actually pushed them out here. Nice. I think this railway is going to be fine. We just need to go up and take this point here. And then it's all connected. And we'll have loads of supply. Like, I don't really need military factories. What I need is uh, uh, civilian ones so we can help build. Okay, next stop, these two. I now fight on the supply map mode. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Surely I can come up with better commentary than just constantly moaning about supply. I guess this is what, what, what fighting Russia is. Trying to coax him in. Alright, push to the next hub. Hold him off there. 
You lot go there, and this is fine. Okay, we'll push around here, and then we'll sweep upwards. That's open plains, and that appears to be a hub of some kind. Anyway, there's a two-on-one. If I can get an encirclement, all the better. It's a nice little encirclement there. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go for an encirclement here. So we're going to see if we can't push this way. So this front over here is kind of stalled a little bit. Take out the supply hub, please. Thank you. Oh, we got the encirclement. Excellent. What I feel like this is going to take the next couple of years of my life to do. Yeah, as we push him into areas where he has supply, turns out his uh, mostly modernized army kind of does well. <laughs> this stuff, not so much. He's completely cut off over here, so I'm just going to... I'm tempted to just ignore it. He's got a mountaineer on a mountain province, which uh, I don't think I'll be able to push. Yeah, he's going to take that back, isn't he? Oh, no, we instantly left. That's not good. Right, let's polish off what we have. But yeah, we're definitely going to push back over here. Finish off this lot. Okay. Do not like that noise. Why are we here? We're getting bombed. Again. My oh, boy, let's just go random. I've fully been pushed back in the west. Let's go random, boys. Just go random. That's got to get back to basics. This frontline fight then against the uh, against this lot, the Russians, not a good idea. Let's just go around. I'll push him out, boys. Yes. Tashkent. No. Not quite. Maybe. And reorg a little bit. Now go. Nice. We got it. We just need to get our supplies up here. Come on, boys. Just pin him. Go. Go. Get the encirclement, please. Nice. I finished that lot off, go. Now, here's the thing. We can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, casualties-wise, with uh, with the Russians. Now, that's fine. We have more manpower than they do because of China. I think our industry is mostly caught up as well. They got 200. Uh, just, I mean, it's, it's okay. At some point, we do need to just sort of charge across the step. Nah, let's just start generally pushing, I think. I think in a lot of cases, it's really not going to work. But in the, in, the, in the precious few where it might, definitely worth it. A little bit of supply issues, is that? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, no, they're fixed. <laughs> oh, Christ. It's very much like uh, two step forwards, like one and three quarter step back. I Like to the point where any progress may be completely negligible. I don't know if I can tell if we're, if we're making progress. We might have to change strategy here. Let's start investing in the air. We said that. It doesn't look like we're, in, we're being ruined anywhere in the air. Like, I don't think they have an air force. It's like he's suffering a little bit in terms of his equipment. If that's the case, let's just mass assault it. Right, I'm making a push for this. Let's see if I make it. Doesn't look like it. Damn. <laughs> I was thinking I could sweep round, but I, I don't know that's happening either. I am just mass assaulting now. I think I've got an opening here. Oh, yes. Finally. Progress. That's an encirclement. Go random, boys. Always. Go random. Uh, let me get cavalry attack even better. Don't let them out, boys. Do not let them out. Excellent stuff. No, no supplies for you. Not a single supply for you, my friend. I've got to clean up this stuff, otherwise the front line's going to break. I mean, this is kind of working. We're about to have a lot of guys in the south. Okay, here's what we got to do. We're just going to push all the way. Well, you've been encircled. That's not good. Please just finish them off. I can't imagine our supplies are going to be great, but I'm sick of looking at it. I was too cautious before. Oh, Mongols, damn it, just run. Eat off the land. Go past them. That's how we beat the Chinese. Literally by cutting off their supply lines. By keeping just running forwards. Where's your Ketteringberg? Go straight there. Okay, just go around him here. That should be this lot dealt with. Go forwards. Yeah, we're behind him now. And this is good stuff. Uh, we have been surrounded. That's fine. Just keep moving forwards. They can't legally stop us. He's almost at your Ketteringberg. <laughs> we'll go for a circle until we find him. Okay, we are running out of supplies, but frankly, I, I'm sure the Russians are suffering as well. He's actually going to make it to Yetteringberg, you know. I think that does, that cuts off his entire front line. W what a wizard. All right, look, you two, keep going. Yeah, Yetteringberg is actually defended. But yeah, look, they are all, they all don't have supply. They got nothing. Why do I have this territory up here? I don't know, but it means the Russians don't have an eastern port to supply with. They, they literally cannot do anything. Oh, well, he keeps on popping up in your Ketteringberg. Go on, leave. I suppose the railway network is always going to be someone there. All right, we got it. Baron of the Steps is done. Okay, we're going to bypass this. Okay, Turkestan, bypass that. Reclaim Persia. Okay, that's not, not going to hurt ourselves here. We're only fighting the Russian Empire after all. There's not really much they can do. 
So they, yeah, they, they, I think they just don't have access to their supplies anymore. Oh my, that's, I didn't even realize I was here. That's an encirclement. Screw it, keep going then. Yeah, that's the encirclement. You know, I've been looking at this part of the map for so long, I actually don't know where I am. I don't know how far we pushed. I, I genuinely don't. We've killed 650,000. They've lost 367. Where are the legation cities? We no longer have... Why are we no longer at war with the legations? Maybe because it got puppeted by Japan? I don't know. What the... I'm glad they didn't get called in. Like the um, uh, the Japanese didn't get called in here. That would have been really bad for me. So barbarian armies what march to the west. Russian state the Far East has finally erupted to war with the Petrograd regime. Really? The People's Revolutionary Army declared war. You, you know you can't... Okay. Sure, buddy. I've just left the Russians behind. I wonder what sparked this, huh? Wait, how many times do I have to say it? Just go random. There's nothing they can do. I'm just leaving little pockets of Russians behind me. I say little. They're, they are larger than most states. How's the US going on? Second American Republic. Oh. 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 I hope you don't win. Okay, I got a railway network. Let it coordinate. It can, yeah, okay. I was wondering what was happening. That uh, turns out going through places instead of like, you know, past the railways means that you don't actually get access to railways. Shocking, I know. Okay, you go that way. Okay, I'm at risk of doing the same thing to myself as I'm doing to the Russians in terms of like cutting off their railways because I'm cutting myself off by leaving all of these things behind. Very much not fighting uh, to kill her but to capitulate. So the nice thing about approaching from this side of Russia is that everything, like all the victory points are in front of you. I need to clean up some of these pockets at least. Otherwise the AI is just going to sit there. The frontline AI, to be clear. Just going to sit there and run around and not have any idea what to do. Okay, so most of the pockets cleaned up. Okay, we've got Saratov. That's nice. Okay, we've actually got supply here now. That's good. I wonder if we have total mobilization. There's no, there's no, yeah, there's no downside, so. Don't know why I didn't that, do that. Could I have a clean up this pocket here? Just one dude facing him down. Look, stop making a front line against this lot, please. They couldn't fight the way out of a paper bag. They legit just didn't even walk in when the Russians had their backs to them. Don't let them cut off your railways. Yeah, the front line being this big is great. You can just sort of go around them. It takes them ages to get anywhere as well, so I can just stop them from doing things. Like, you know, marching to Saratov. Issue is, these guys seem to be better equipped. I, I don't know if it's because... I, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> I don't know why they're better equipped. We've hit Ukraine. That's surprising. Yeah, they're much better equipped. But again, I'm just sort of walking around them. Like this. Anytime there's uh, an approach. Okay, how how far is he to capitulating? About halfway. Uh, we've lost 482,000. They've lost about a million. But uh, it's to the point where I don't actually have the men to cover my back. But you can see, like, he has more supplies than we do. I don't know what that's about. It's kind of terrifying. And he could probably use his planes now. Yeah. Not ideal. Thank you. Okay, I'm missing 3,500 infantry. Let's get rid of them. I'm missing... They... Oh, okay, right. So I actually have infantry equipment. I need anti-air support. I need everything. Cool. Basic training. I mean, it's sort of unsurprising that really, isn't it? I'm terrified. I'm going to look back at Mongolia and just see problems. So far, no. But, you know, don't count your chickens. They've not really done anything threatening since uh, Ekaterinburg. Rotate Ninzi Novgorod, please. Oh, my head hurts so bad. They run out of organization and they run away is the issue. See, the downside from approaching from the uh, the west, uh, it, sorry, the east, is that uh, you have to take every single province in Russia. Like, from the west, uh, if you, you sort of stop about here, we kind of have to take everything. Because, <laughs> you know, population centers and stuff. We've got three different armies approaching Moscow. Oh, please don't. <gasps> There's no one in Petrograd. There's no one in Petrograd. Yes! Follow Petrograd! I'm approaching Moscow. He's not even close to surrendering, man. Please take him in Moscow, please. Thank you. That's the first, like, actual battle. Oh, last time Moscow was taken off by a foreign power, a vast fire wiped out portions of the city. Let's see. Russian soldiers continue to snipe the enemy from high rises, but main defenses are broken to me. Where's his capital? Where is he? Where's Felix Yusupov? <laughs> oh, Hanglisk, apparently. What am I missing? Why aren't you, like, even close to... to uh, getting there? It could be worse. I could be fighting the three-way American Civil War. That'd be kind of rough. <sighs> We've lost 500,000, they've lost 1.2 million. I feel like I've lost, personally. I'm just still, like, we're still... Oh my god, we're close. Is it done? <gasps> oh my god, it's done. Oh my god, it's done. Oh, it's it's so done. 
Confirm and exit. There we go. Okay. We're good. Hit the land and salt the earth. Hell yeah. All right, on to, on to China, I guess. Assume national leadership. Being, by being the strongest faction, capable of standing against foreign domination, we can begin to assert leadership over all of China and lead the nation against foreign aggression. Aren't we the foreign ag aggression? Demanding the Hunan clique. Submission. Play Russia. Military occupation. I do not care. Assimilate modern gold territory. What's this? Spirit of Genghis. Okay, remove the Khan's ambitions. A vast conquest expanded the borders of Mongolia to stretch across Eurasia. The steppe plains in eastern China are under our control. Lands previously thought near impossible to unify. However, Sternberg's tactical brilliance and divine strength has forged the wild fantasies of Mongolian nationalists into reality. His visions for a revived Mongol Empire are stronger than ever. He has restored the spirit of Genghis. I would recommend accepting this. Let's just invade now. Straight in. What does our modifier? What do our modifiers do? Okay, we've got loads of stability and stuff. Horseman the step, that's cavalry attack. And then I think we also have more other yeah, more cavalry attack. So we've got 10% from there, 12% from there, another 5% from there. So we got like it's it's a good amount of attack we have. I'll attack the Guanju clique as well. Okay, the Yunnan clique and the other ones uh, submitted. Very good idea. Alright, you know the drill. This is a much nicer water fight. Go around them. The German Empire declared war on me. Dude, why? Oh, just give me a second. I'll, I'll be there soon. I mean, you have to push through just the worst territory known to man. So, I'll, I'll see you there. The French national state declared war on the commune of France. We've got some epic music there. Christ. All right, well, the Germans are fighting. Uh, did we just take the place of Russia in this in this world? Did they... Did they? I think, I, I'm think i going to assume that they didn't realize the Mongols took over. I guess we don't have to claim the German colonies anymore. Yeah. Okay, there's a Hunan clique. Who's got gotten submitted demands? Sure, you can take that. Why not? I, I don't care. There's the Guangxi clique done. All right, Spirit of Genghis has been done. In loads of cores. All right, let's make the journey west. They've always pushed to Moscow. In the time it took me to conquer southern China. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm still like out here trying to build air frames. Why is it taking so goddamn long? I swear it's taking like longer than usual. Maybe the game's just running slow. I had to quickly invade Vietnam. I don't know if the Mongols ever did that. Presumably they did. They invented a lot of things. Okay, we've arrived. Yeah, I can't match. I mean, we secured a lot of supply hubs, actually. This isn't too bad. It's still kind of funny that our troops just aren't bad. It's just a bunch of cavalrymen. It's like, yeah, they're not terrible. Right. We're going to push all the way to Berlin. And I'm just going to tell them to attack. Turn the tide, boys! I'm not even looking at the Ukrainian front. This one's inherently more interesting to me. I oh, like cavalry. Hey, they're actually pretty good. So let's have a look at... Boys, there's an open area. Go through it. Oh, that's one encirclement. Damn, there's a lot of, a lot of things here. <laughs> New York. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that is like, I don't know, I just find that funny. I don't know why I felt so embarrassed that I found that funny. No, it, it is funny. Screw you. I don't know why you're laughing at me. All right, continue the policy going around them. It was worked well so far. Oh no, they cut me off. Oh well. Just keep moving, boys. <laughs> They weren't there on the Russian front. They don't know that this is piss compared to that. <laughs> yeah, the North isn't doing so hot. But that's because that's everyone's coming south to deal with the massive uh, breach I've made. That's why, <laughs> what the hell's that? That's why you don't leave other people in charge of things. I, guess. I was wondering why my uh, my allies weren't helping. Uh, it's because I never called them in. They were one of these troops that were like protecting and they just had to constantly walk backwards. All right, now they should actually sit here and protect a little bit better. There's, there's so many supply lines here. I don't really feel the need to do anything. We're just going to always be connected. Just spam out these, I guess. Just, just do that. I wonder what the casualties are here. We've lost uh, 178,000 or so. Um, yeah, I think we dealt more. <laughs> so many little victory points here, man, honestly. Are they close to capitulating? I don't bloody feel like it. Whatever this is, deep battle. That sounds good. Look, bicycle militia get combat with, but we don't. It helps everyone but us. My thinking is, if I can capitulate Ukraine, there's a reason I'm pushing so hard, is that this entire front line should fall, because I could just push all the way to the sea. Or oh, is last stand really annoying? Don't do that. Don't last stand. Don't. Just, come on. Brazilians have been really annoying. <laughs> they're, just, they're just popping up to defend everything. All right, Ukraine's almost done. I just need to take a couple more victory points. Go on, go around. Thank you. Surely you're almost dead, Ukraine. Come on. 18%. There's just so many forts everywhere, man. I've had to collapse the entire nation before they surrender. All right, there you go, the Ukrainians. Now, does that leave the front line dead? 
rather think and hope that it does. The free territory of Belarus. I don't know, I'm sure. Yeah, no shot you guys make it out of this one alive, I'm afraid. All right, you need to buy Baltic Dutch. He's gone. The more nations you capitulate, the faster it goes. Lithuania's gone. Get rid of this lot. Why are we giving it to Belarus? That's what I want to know. Like, I, I don't understand this. G give, give it to me. Because then I can defend it. Okay, just go straight to Warsaw. See if we can just polish off the poles. <laughs> polish off. <laughs> you got to stop making these weird-ass front lines. Okay, we have cleaned up the east, though. So that's nice. I guess I could just send him over here. How are you still alive? I killed you. You know what? I'm going to ignore him. <laughs> There's some funny business going on here. And I'm not laughing. <laughs> All right, Poland's gone as well. Don't give it to <laughs> Stop giving things to Belarus. Right. Let's grab a couple more fine gentlemen. Bring them over here. Okay, what I need to do is collapse on them fast enough such there are no enemy troops remaining. All right, and then I can let Ukraine be Ukraine and just sort of kill the ones behind it. Because the issue is these guys all have supply and they will just walk around me. Again, it is really dumb that that's a thing. I, I, frankly, I don't understand why it's a thing. But it is. All right, let's go push into Berlin. What I suppose is messing up my supply line. I'm just going to leave and just leave it alone. Why is... Why is Poland back? <laughs> They've liberated Poland! <laughs> Which is cutting me off completely! Stop it! <laughs> There's nothing I can do to stop this! Okay, I need, to, I need to rush down Berlin. I need to stand on the victory points and then just rush down Berlin. Oh, this might be the most frustrating thing I've ever seen in Hoi 4. This is so stupid. I can't ever kill them. So we're just constantly running around each other. Okay, Poland's gone again, but that doesn't actually mean anything. <laughs> so stupid. They've encircled me. Oh, God. Because well, I'm dead. I mean, they fully encircled me. We've taken Berlin. Oh, Christ. Look how fast he is. Just go. Claw off through him, please. The weird thing is, uh, the Empire of Japan has actually done more casualties than anyone else to the Germans. And I, I, I mean... I don't know where, it makes sense because I've not really felt that much resistance from the German army itself. Just like from puppets and stuff. So, I, I mean, I don't know what the hell <laughs> Japan did to piss them off so bad, but yeah. Collapse the Reich's Pact. I've still got to collapse the German Empire. I'm no longer at war with like half these guys though. Unfortunately, because I'm no longer at war with half these guys, I don't have any goddamn supply lines. <laughs> Please just die. Oh my God, they did. Uh, yep, we did more than anyone else. That's nice. I like how Denmark's not in the peace deal. They peaced out. Just they were like, well, you, okay, so uh, we're not in this anymore. Uh, bye. I don't know why I'm clicking this. I don't actually care. Well, that's the peace deal done. Uh, yeah, and we've we've conquered most things. <laughs> Never got the legation cities, but I, I'm gonna call it there because I'm I'm not seeing straight. It does look like uh, the races have been killed though. So that's that's nice. Uh, but there we go. That is where we'll call it for today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. If a little boggy down later on. And uh, I mean, I hated everything to do with this. Christ. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, please do let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, RedGuard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on.